Hi everybody, Pat Huntoon here from Technique Junkies and today I'm going to be showing you how to make that beautiful card I showed you in the front of this video using the Wildflower, uh, the brand new Wildflower Border 1098 Wildflower Border border from Technique Junkies. It's a beautiful, delicate eucalyptus and flower car, uh, border. And Life is Beautiful, SDX099 some Distress Oxide Inks and Cracked Pistachio, Wilted Violet, Salty Ocean, and Picked Raspberry, and uh, three rectangle stencil, uh, shadow stencil. So there's three rectangles on this, and there's three, um, there's three, the three shadows that go in there in case you want to do some reverse are also included with the stencils that we sell. So that's from A Colorful Life Designs, available from Technique Junkies, the three rectangle stencil. So the first thing we're going to do is we are actually starting with a piece of cardstock, and I am using um, Mina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. Um, and I am using an A2 size, and I, even though I'm going to cut this down and mat this a little bit later, I'm using the A2 size because if you can see here, and I hope you can see this, it says A2 card guide, and there's four corners on this for the A2 card guide. So I have actually taken and sprayed this with Pixie Spray. If you're not familiar with Pixie Spray, it's a light tack re repositional adhesive for stencils. And what happens is you put it on the back of your stencil and it's just lightly tacked. And what happens with that is that you, it'll hold down to your work surface and the paper without pulling up on the paper. So I am going to take the corners of this piece of paper and I'm going to line it up with the corners of my cardstock. The reason for that is that it will keep those those squares right in the center of my cardstock. So let me move the camera a little bit because I need to have this so I can reach it. Okay, so I have my corners lined up and it's gonna hold nice and firmly there without pulling anything up. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to be taking the Distress Oxides and blending them in here. I'm going to, just to give you an idea, I'm going to start with the Cracked Pistachio. I'm going to go to the Salty Ocean next. I'm going to go to the Wilted Violet. And then I'm going to be using the Picked Raspberry. And I'm showing you that because I am going to actually make it fast after I start so that you get an idea of how we do this. All right, so we're starting with Cracked Pistachio. I'm starting at the very top of the stencil. I'm going to do a little more than half of this top point. Make sure that you get the edges because the edges give you definition. You wanna make sure that you have the definition there. So that's it for the Cracked Pistachio. You only use a little bit of it there, but we'll be coming back to that. So the next thing we're going to be using is the Salty Ocean. And the Salty Ocean the Salty Ocean is going to go over half of the first one and half the second one. So the Salty Ocean and the next color, the Wilted Violet, definitely get the most color on the background here. So we'll do the Salty Ocean here. And what I don't want is these uh, brush feelings here. So I'm gonna, going to, so I'm going to just go over this a couple of times and um, spread that out a little bit. And the next up is our Wilted Violet. So I'm going to take my Wilted Violet and I'm going to go over the center and the bottom and top of the second and third one. So I'm going over the bottom of the second rectangle and the top of the third rectangle. over that nice and neatly there and move that to the side and the last one I'm going to do is the picked raspberry now this picked raspberry <clears throat> I love picked raspberry even before the distress oxide came distress oxides came out I just love this deep pink it's it's one of my faves so we're just going to go over that I think what I'm going to do is just go over the purple, the edges there. Because this is over stamped, um, it's not, 
if you have a little white showing, it's not really all that big of a deal. So what I'm going to do now, all three are done. Look how beautiful and colorful that is. I'm going to just peel off this piece. You see how it peels right off with that pixie spray? Look how beautiful those are. You almost don't need to stamp on that. That's so pretty. So what you want to make sure is that your fingers are clean before you go to the next step. The next step is going to be to be um, stamping the wildflower border and the life is beautiful over this. And let me do that and come right back to you. Okay, so I have stamped my uh, wildflower border right over my squares. And I've also added the Life is Beautiful stamp. Make sure that you dry this ink really well, your black ink. Because the lines are the way they are, they tend to pool a little bit. And when you have pooling like that, that means that the ink is, is wet. And you don't want to smudge that ink. You don't want to pull that ink up when we do the painting. So um, we are going to uh, not worry about that by drying it first. So what we're going to be using is the Distress Oxide inks as paints. So I'm starting with a cracked pistachio and I'm going to make a line of color there with a cracked pistachio. And I'm just going to be using a plain old water brush. You don't need much water, just enough to have the tip be wet. And then you put your brush in there and color on the eucalyptus leaves and the other leaves. Now, I do want to mention when you are going over like the, we're going to go over the pink and the colors that have contrasting colors a couple of times because you put it on once and then you can layer it on a second time and the colors will come through much stronger. So I'm going to turn this on fast time with the green. So I've gone over that once with the green, and now I'm just going to touch up places where um, the other color is showing through a bit more than I would like. And you'll be shocked at how well this green really, really shows up against these other colors. Pretty much it with the green. There's a lot of green on the card, so I want to make sure that I get it all uh, the way I'd like it. Okay, so now I'm going to wipe off the green, and I'm going to put two more colors down. I'm going to be putting the purple down and the wilted violet, uh, the picked raspberry and the wilted violet. I'm st starting with the picked raspberry. I'm going to put more on there than I probably need, but and the wilted violet. And I'm starting at the bottom of my big flower here, and I'm going to make this pink. I'm going to make this the picked raspberry. I could make these three colors, but I'm just going to use two. So I start with my pink. I'm going to make my thistles pink, although thistles aren't really pink, but they are in my little dream world. Wipe my brush off and go back over the top of these flowers with the wilted violet and blend it into the pink. And I love, even though we're doing color on color here, we're putting purple over purple, it still shows up beautifully. The green shows up beautifully. It's got a really cool, chalky look to it that I, I just adore. So blend those together a little bit. I'm gonna, going to add a little bit more purple and normally I've had to add a little bit more pink, but I'm not sure I need to do that this time because we have some beautiful blending going on. And the purple's really showing up well, as is the pink. And that is our colored card. So what I'm going to do is take this pistachio colored background. I'm going to back this in pistachio, and then I'm going to put it on a white piece of paper and I'll show you the finished card. So that's our tutorial today. Quick, simple, easy, 
quite beautiful, quite colorful. I do hope you did enjoy this tutorial today. If you did, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube and consider subscribing to the Technique Junkies YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.